Not too bad. Um, they kept it pretty nice. We're converting that detached garage into a what they consider ADU accessory dwelling unit. We completed the two car garage conversion into a two bedroom, one bath, and we built a brand new ADU that's attached to this back house. Originally, when we first purchased this duplex, we wanted to convert the garage into an ADU. And we did that, right? But back then, we didn't know what else we could do. So as of now, we completed the two-car garage conversion into a two-bedroom, one-bath, and we built a brand new ADU that's attached to this back house. So now this duplex is essentially four units. This duplex became a fourplex, okay? Not legally a fourplex, it's actually a duplex plus ADU plus an addition. So let's go take a look. This is a newly built ADU from ground up. All right, let's talk about numbers. Purchase this property in June of 2020 for $410,000. This is inclusive of seller credits. We spent about $100,000 building this ADU. After the ADU was built, at this point, we thought this property has been maximized, meaning there's no more opportunity to add value to the property. However, I was wrong. We found out that we're able to build an addition that is attached to the back house uh, on this property. And that's exactly what we did. Got it permitted and we built an addition that cost us about $100,000. As of right now, this property is worth anywhere between $915,000 to about $950,000. Let's talk about ROI, around $100,000 is down payment. And then we spent $100,000 building the ADU and another $100,000 building the addition. Our total cash out of pocket at this point is about $300,000, all right? Now, we used the $305,000 of net income, and how we derived that was $915,000 that was on the lower spectrum of the ARV, minus the $200,000 ADU addition, minus $410,000, and then we netted $305,000. We used $305,000 of net profit divided by the $300,000 of our capital expenditure or our investment, right? This is cash out of pocket. Our ROI is 100%. It's a little more than 100%, but let's just say it's right around 100%. We used essentially $300,000 to make $305,000. That's why, you know, it's 100% of what we put in that we got back. A very important metric is what is your annualized return? Annualized return is basically what is your return on a year to year basis averaged out, all right? Because this project, keep in mind, we purchased this in June of 2020. And then now, let's just say it's November 2022. We're in it total about two years and four months. And then if you want to convert that into months, it's 28 whole months that we're in this project, right? So we have to use 100% return divided by 28 months. So this way we know what our return is on a month to month basis in that 28 months. And then you times 12 to figure out what our return is in a given year, right? So our annualized return is 42%. That is average rate of return. This is a metric that we use to compare this investment with any other investment. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Let us know in the comments below 
if you would live in this unit. All right, catch you next time.